Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, of course, uh, for some of you that are on the Dev Insider build, uh, you might have seen that you have the ability for some to uh, use Copilot. But the reason um, I'm not really going there right now to show you is because it ain't really different from what you have when you actually go to the Bing AI chat from the browser to Edge browser. And actually, that's the way it feels when you turn it on. So it's it's really not implemented yet. But um, I got a few questions about people saying, so what's the improvements? Is there still some improvement going on? And of course, they are constantly improving the Bing AI chat and all of that. So of course, you got a chat, you got to compose a uh, part where you can have things written for you and so on. And there's insights that are given between, I don't know, they're kind of checks what you're doing, but honestly, I don't find insights to be that interesting. Um, one of the things also to remember is that now the uh, Bing chat can remember remember what you actually have um, done in the past, any conversations. And the limit of conversation is getting longer and higher at every time, so they are um, really using more and more of the AI and trying to kind of make it more interesting for everybody. So here you see the, just writing what I just said, you can have the uh, different options. They give you the links to the websites where all of this has been taken. You can actually click on a specific part of, you know, any um, text that comes out in a search when you ask a question will bring you, of course, directly to the uh, website where it was actually taken. So it's kind of, you know, and interesting. And of course, there's always suggestions at the bottom. Um, it is getting more powerful over time. So the more you work on it, the more you uh, can, um, you know, uh, have things that sometimes are kind of weird. There's always this weirdness in some of the suggestions or even if you ask it to write a text, sometimes you'll feel that it's kind of strange. And it often has a lot of mistakes, and uh, that will, of course, work over time as it scoops probably a lot of data from uh, the Internet, like Google that is trying to pretty much scan the whole web to uh, have its own services work well. So, um, dad joke. Let's see what it's going to say with a dad joke. Generate draft. So... Um, it's it's slowly working and uh, it's getting and gaining more attention here. So this is a dad joke apparently. Okay. Um, so the insights, of course, there's the uh, picture creation, which I've shown you, uh, which is kind of nice. And um, still, you know, you ask it questions. There, it could be of interest sometimes um, about different subjects. But always um, double check because you never, never know what's going to happen with, um, with this. And uh, I think it's important to double check some of its stats. Although it does, you know, it gives annotations here like this one where it gets some of the info. Uh, it can get some of it wrong. Sometimes um, it can actually take it from, I don't know where, but websites that might not be correct and the facts. But that's the way we're going, and that's the advancements we're having. Um, I think the hype of the Bing chat and, and all of that and the AI, you know, chat GPT, is kind of a little past. Um, there isn't that much news about it, although AI is still in the news. And as we get into Windows 12, that is supposed to be driven with artificial intelligence, we're going to see what happens next. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.